Hi everyone. Good afternoon. Welcome back to the um, to the meeting, which is uh, held by Vodan Africa and Asia. So I'm glad to open this session, and today we are going to discuss a number of things. Um, so I have already published it into the chat. Um, so. Uh, Professor Miriam, would you like to open the session as well? Hi, Alia. Hi, everyone. Good to see you. I will keep it very short because I know you have a very full agenda. I just want to say that uh, we just heard the news that there has been uh, bo three bombs in uh, Kampala uh, in Uganda and uh, people have been killed. So let's just um, uh, pray for all our friends in KIU and in Kampala and uh, hope that every, everybody will be, uh, will be safe, but uh, very shocked about that uh, news. Otherwise, I thank everybody for the progress and the hard work again this last week. And I know you have prepared a very full uh, session, uh, Alia, so let me right away hand uh, back over to you. Um. Thank you, thank you very much. So, um, yeah, I'm also shocked to, with this news, to be honest. And yeah, uh, so sorry to hear this kind of news. Yeah. Um, well, uh, let me then start the session with um, update on the health facilities communication by Putu. Putu, please take the floor. Uh, yeah. Uh... Thanks, Alia. Uh, it is shock uh, news from Kampala because uh, I'm feel, uh, I, I understand the situation there. So I was in that kind of situation most uh, because come, uh, bombing is like common in Indonesia uh, five years ago. So I think I will uh, start to uh, communicate. Uh, I, I will start with the communication with the health facilities. Uh, so yesterday we had a discussion about, uh, so basically we are finished with uh, the dashboard, uh, dashboard topic list, uh, only Ephraim and uh, Din Jamal. I will ask Din Jamal uh, 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 tomorrow or today about the progress, but we are finished with Nigeria uh, uh, in uh, uh, Uganda and also Kenya. And yesterday, I will share my screen. Can you this enable my screen? Can you uh, enable my? Yes, you are already screen? able to share. Okay. So yesterday I discussed uh, with you, Alia, and uh, we are uh, discussing. We are discuss about the. Uh, we are finalizing uh, the the budgeting for the. Uh, for the hardware. So yesterday I discussed with the country coordinator to to check uh, about the pricing or the budget for the hardware. Uh, so this is uh, the final. Yesterday uh, I hadn't uh, I had not uh, put the requirements uh, in this link, but now I put this requirement and I asked the country coordinator to to put uh, the the budgeting for uh, PC for the monitor for the accessories and for the battery and internet bundle price for one time uh, download in uh, in the health facilities for the uh, download of the uh, for for the image download. So I think we will have uh, the progress uh, this week, uh, and I will uh, raise this uh, issue tomorrow on the country coordinators meeting to put. Uh, the budgeting based on your uh, based on our requirement on the technical requirements. So, uh, yeah, uh, that's all uh, for for me, uh, especially for Nigeria because uh, there is a, there is a, a problem about the power sources. So I asked Dr. Abdullahi and uh, sorry, Dr. Ibrahim and Abdullahi to check the the battery uh, uh, the battery uh, the battery option for the for the for tech, uh, for tackling the power sources so yeah uh, that's all and we're finished with i will summarize the dashboard topic list so uh, and i will give uh, it to oluwole and yilin to to 
to to create a dashboard based on our uh, summary. So that's all, uh, Ali. Thanks, uh, Let me uh, yeah. Sorry, oh, Alia. Uh, just to um, interject one thing, and that is that I um, don't think that you need to have the bundle for the download of the um, image because I would imagine that it is being prepared uh, by the technical person of Vodan and probably we will do that by uh, putting the image on a, um, a USB. So we, we shouldn't use the same uh, procedure okay. necessarily as we have done now, because as we know, the bundles are very expensive in Africa. So we can just basically uh, copy it, the image from a USB is my thinking, a USB or a CD-ROM, whatever uh, the team from Nam Nambobi and, and, and Ola Wola and so on decide. Okay, okay. okay. sounds okay. great. Sounds great. Oh. Um, yeah, thank you very much, Puto. And this is, I think, um, very good uh, in order to understand uh, what are the uh, what is the budget for different countries. Uh, we can probably say like this is uh, like uh, fixed for this country, but then it's gonna be um, it's not gonna work for the different countries. So that's why we have decided to. Um, in order uh, like to, to understand the available options per country. So um, thank you very much, Putu, for sharing this um, update. Um, and then templates uh, and vocabularies part. Um, so uh, last week we uh, had a, a call with John on the review of templates. So um, now country coordinators are working on the um, uh, on the templates. Um, so that's probably it from the templates and vocabularies part. I don't have much update on them. Um, so if I move to the next part of the agenda, so it's uh, CDAR deployment. Uh, Olras uh, wasn't able to join uh, the meeting because he has uh, another session. Uh, so his apologies for that. Um, uh, regarding the deployment part, so he sent me the, his update. Uh, so basically, now uh, on the CDAR deployment part, we already have um, deployments from Uganda and also from Nigeria and also um, SES already contacted me from Kenya and he's already um, uh, he's also um, deploying the CDAR image. So we basically have a few um, deployments of CDAR in, uh, from different countries, and this is so good. Um, and uh, now uh, Ulras and his team are, are working on, um, on the queries, uh, basically um, sending uh, queries to the local points, uh, CDAR, uh, CDAR uh, locally deployed versions. Um, and uh, um, the focus of the work is given to this one and also on the uh, technical documentation that they are now writing. Um, I would like to ask also Nambobi if he's on the call. Let me have a look. Um, if, yeah, Nambobi is just joining the call. Um, so maybe we can give he, uh, him some time to join the meeting. And after he will also demonstrate his deployment. Um, all right, then, uh, so let me move towards uh, to the next part of the agenda, uh, update on dashboards. Uh, um, so also, um, Oluwole is not on the call. He just sent me the message that he wasn't able to join the meeting. Uh, we uh, had a conversation with Oluwole uh, on the dashboards. So uh, he was given an API uh, in order to send the request to CDAR uh, Global uh, to display the, the mock data. So he's working on it and uh, yeah, uh, we are also going to touch base on the dashboards uh, later this week uh, on dashboards and also on, on top portal because the next point on agenda is on top portal and uh, um, yeah th there is some issues with on top portal and but 
uh, John and his team uh, are guiding us on it. And uh, uh, hopefully we'll, we can solve it and also uh, integrate with the existing CDAR um, image. So um, that's the update from the dashboards and on the portal part. I would like to ask uh, as the next point of agenda, uh, update uh, on the um, component input into DHIS, Nula or Maria. Um, so please take the floor. I don't see. Nula. Yes. Uh, hi, Alia. Thank you. Um, uh, I'll give an update for this. Um, so yesterday we had a meeting uh, with uh, data management personnel at KU and uh, we were able to uh, uh, see how the, the DHS software works and uh, the data entry and how the data entry is done and um, uh, and we're actually sure that um, the algorithm will actually be able to work with the with the uh, the current instance being used uh, within uh, the facility, and so basically it would work uh, through the command line, and uh, we're currently actually waiting for a few other. Uh, details and information from the personnel, and then um, we'll have more updates next week. Yeah, that's the current update. Thanks. Um, thank you very much, uh, uh, Mariam. Um, okay. So, um, William, uh, I would like to ask you to um, uh, show the deployment part if you are able to do so. William? Oh, sorry, Nambobi, Nambobi, sorry. Um, Nambobi? <coughs> Hello. Hi, Nambobi. Yes, I'm setting it up on my computer, like five minutes. Okay, okay. It is, it is running the services. Yeah, all right. So um, let's move on to the next point then of the agenda. Um, update component uh, for the backup uh, of data. Uh, so let me have a look if Herjan is here. Okay, he's not on the call. Um, I think we can then move to the next point. Um, production of queries. Um, yeah, uh, production of, so if I speak regarding the queries, um, we are working on it right now and specifically, mostly focused on, uh, on the local uh, queries where we obtain data from uh, locally uh, deployed CDARs. Uh, but at the same time, we are also uh, together with um, Olwole uh, working on the um, sending queries to the CDAR global uh, for the dashboards part where we, com uh, we connect dashboards with the um, uh, queries. So and this is the uh, update, um, so working towards it. Um, yeah, and let me move to the next point, update of the country coordinators meeting. Um, so Dr. Reginald, uh, if you take the floor and um, yeah, briefly update us on it. Yeah, thank you, Alia. Uh, we don't have much to say today, but appreciate the work each one of you is doing. We look forward to a good meeting tomorrow. Thank you, Alia. Okay, thank you very much, Dr. Reginald. Um, and then the last point is special, special issue updates. Um, I don't see uh, Misha on the call. Uh, Professor Miriam, uh, is there anything to add? To the special issue updates? 
Um, yeah, thank you, Alia. Uh, not that uh, much other than to say that um, save two that had to go to the review uh, slightly later, which we are now waiting to get back. Everything else is uh, done. I just need to hear from uh, Misha whether the documentation has been sent to all the authors for the finalization of each article and then it will all go off. So um, that is still the update of last week, which now is uh, needs to be implemented. And that is the last stage. Okay, thank you. Yeah, thank you very much uh, for this update. Uh, so uh, Nambobi, if you are able to share your screen, so please take the floor. <coughs> If you are ready, Nambobi. Yes, I'm sharing. I'm I'm connecting. I'm connecting. Right. So you can continue. I'm going to message you once I'm I'm done. Um, we have basically covered all the points on the agenda. So. Basically, um, this okay, is now I'm, 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 I'm trying to access it on the computer to be to share screen. I I tried to 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 connect using a PC where I installed my infrastructure. Good. Okay. It is showing me I can't share a screen. Uh, so you are entering from the other computer, right? Yes. Co-host. Yeah, here you go. Okay. Is my screen visible? Can you see my screen? Yes, yes, we can see it. Okay, so the requirements of the infrastructure I'm having, I went to, to settings. Please move this. Okay. Can you see it? Uh, yeah, we can see it. Okay, so the processor, I, I, I use the five, but even here at four, it can work. The, the CEDA can be installed. It is showing me to move. It's not showing full screen. Let me try. It's appearing again, but we can see it. You can. You can eh? Yeah. So, but it's now me not seeing. It is bringing a red. Please move this window away from the share the application. Mm -hmm. Okay. So th this is the processor. Then the base memory, 
still I, I exceeded, I tried to exceed 80 to 10, to 10 GB. I'm having, a, I'm having 12 GB of memory. Then after, <clears throat> I'm, I'm trying to share another screen. Okay. Hey. My screen was okay. I'm going to start after configuration. I'm going to start. I'm using a desktop computer, that's why it is, it is being issues with the, with the Zoom. I just connected a webcam to it. And the and this and the speaker. So let, let it open. Then I try to run the the services. Meanwhile, I request. The, I don't know if Mariam is on the call. Yes, I'm on the call. I've sent here a message. For the for the password. Okay. Check your inbox, please. Okay, so is, is my screen visible? Uh, I think it's freeze it um, for some reason. Uh, I can't yeah. see it. You can't see it. I mean, like, um, yeah, now I see the Oracle VM. Okay, now we don't need this one. New share. I, we need this one. So now are you seeing this one yes. I've shared? Yes. yes. Okay, so now here we have two icons, the server status and the one with the start server. I, can you see it? Can you see the two icons? Uh, yes. Yes, number B. Yeah, start yes. server, so, start server status. Yeah. So, yes, I'm going to click on start server. We see we are seeing that three services, infrastructure service, these ones. We have MongoDB is running. We have Nginx is also running and the MySQA. So we are going to go to the second icon the second icon to start the server. Am I audible? Yes. Okay, so here it requests for, <laughs> for the password. So I'm going to try to enter the password. Uh, oh yeah, can can I request for the password again? I had it on my clickboard. This is an I've just set up this computer for this demonstration. It is uh, about, well done now. Okay. 
I'm, uh, I'm, I'm, I'm trying to trace it. Is, is the load running on the core, please? Uh, load one is not on the call. Okay. I'm trying to trace for the password. The one I know is not working. I've just set up this specific file for demonstration. I'm sorry for the delay. Then Abdullah also installed this, but I don't know if he's in on the call. So I've tried to run it manually. I don't know if you can see it is installing the services. After installation, it will it will show success. Then we shall head to our browser and uh, type the link, the cedar.metadatacenter.org.x. So here, most of the services are, are being installed. We, we are waiting for, for all of them, except Redis, Redis Recommender and the PHP. These are the services not available at the moment.
let's check again. So we have to wait for this script to, to run and finish. Am I audible? Yes, yes, sure. Okay. It, it takes some little time. So you have to have the network available, some, some good amount of data, internet data, especially when, when elastic search is on. Right now it is stopped, but it's also going to, to start. Let's wait a little bit for it to, to, to complete in the background, then we, we shall check if we are successful. A few remaining.
it takes some time. I delayed to 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 procure myself a webcam. I on my laptop it didn't require a webcam, but now if we are to use desktop computers, it is today that I noticed that we need we need the webcam and the on the desktop. This computer allows me to extend memory. It, it is an asset, it has more than four slots of memory. So I have CD. CD is, I'm utilizing three slots, having four, four, four GB, four GB to amount to 12 GB. So it is still running, but I can open my browser to get ready. I read it. It is still. This is the link we shall use. At the moment, it is showing, but get to. So it's because of the sub. It takes some good amount of time. But I tested it, it was, I tested it, it was working. Uh, I think we can then, um, I think uh, it's now clear. Um, basically you can um, also, the, the other way to start the, all the um, uh, services is to click on the button, which number we already showed and then um, it might be much faster, right, Nambobi? Yeah, that one here I used the, a command. Yeah. To, so. But there is the other ways to use a password uh, to use this icon. Yeah, so to start all the services, and this is much faster. Um, yeah, I think. Um, we can stop at this moment because uh, it takes um, quite it a takes lot of time. time. Yeah. Uh, yeah, when all the services uh, will be up, basically um, we can go to the browser and enter the link that Nambobi already showed. And then uh, we'll have the login page where we need to uh, put uh, our login and the password, and then the, uh, the CDAR system will be, um, the, we can access already the system. So basic, uh, basically this is um, the idea. So this is the login page. I don't know if you can see it. Yeah, we can see it, Nambobi. Yes, well, on the first test I did, I, I had a screenshot, this was the, Login page. Upon login, you will you will be taken to to this page yeah. where dashboard where you will find two one folder. This Vodana pilot and the file Vodana pilot. 
Then all services, upon all services installation, you will find out that only Redis commander, Redis commander and the PHP, they are the ones not installed at the moment, but the rest are running very well. Then this link will work. Yeah. At the moment, it is not working because it is installing right now. Um, thank you very much, Nambobi, for sharing this um, update. Very much appreciated. Um, yeah. I think okay. everyone is can um, uh, is uh, quite uh, clear uh, how it runs and how it looks like. Thanks a lot, Nambobi. Yeah, and uh, we have designed a, a, a document. We, Mariam is trying to review it for the simple steps you can follow. Today, today, just use the command to install all this, but there is just a one click. Uh, the most important thing was, was about now to set up the infrastructure to change the CPUs. I don't know if you can see. Can you still see this? No. The, okay, let me, let me share again. The most important thing is this. Can you now see? Yeah, we can see. Virtual box manager. Yeah. You can see it. So it is to go to settings, system, I think system, a tab called system. Can you see it, Alia? Yes. So it is to change, you have to change. Most likely you will find it at maybe around one GB base memory. You will have to increase to to around eight, where the red mark starts from, if you're having 12 GB of memory. Then on the processor side, you will also find that you're using maybe one CPU and you will need to change to around four, four CPU. Me, I extended it to around five to test its capacity because I was not doing any other services. That's all. If you change the base memory to around eight, then you change the processor to around four. If your computer is above four, four CPUs, that's all. The moment you change this and say, okay, and start, you start the what? You you start like now on this one. If I need to start it, I just go and click the start button. Then you will be drive to a dashboard. A dashboard like this one. Can you see it? Yes. Then you I think this is clear, Nambobi, for now. Uh, the instructions. Okay. Uh, the instructions that uh, like all the steps will be all provided later on and you mm. don't have to yeah yeah explain everything right now uh so this is um, for the technical deployment so um thank you very much again nambobi you're welcome yeah uh, are there any questions um related to this deployment or in general Okay, um, if not, I think we can already close the meeting. Um, thank you very much, everyone. Um, okay, Professor Miriam, would you like to close it? <laughs> yes, uh, Alia. Um, I wanted to really thank uh, Nambobi for that uh, excellent uh, demonstration. And I think it's... Uh, well, it's a really important moment that we are able to see this local installation in 
uh, in, uh, in Uganda. Uh, congratulations, Nambobi, and thank you for all your efforts to show it all across the world. It was very clear to me. And uh, really congratulations to you and, and a big thank you and a big thank you for the team uh, that uh, has been working with you on this, uh, especially uh, Oljas and uh, also um, uh, Rudwan and uh, everybody else, yourself, Alia. Uh, very excellent. I was also very happy to hear the progress uh, by Mariam. The seems like really the architecture and the documentation is very well coming together and that we are keeping with uh, the timeline. Uh, the dashboard is the key thing now, but I'm sure that will be solved as well. So very excellent uh, meeting. I just saw one of the last chapters also coming in. So really the special issue will also definitely be done uh, this year. So uh, just wanted to say thank you. And uh, again, um, Blessings to everyone in uh, in Uganda, uh, Nambobi and uh, Mariam and everyone. Um, our heart is uh, with you, and 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 we really hope that uh, um, that everybody will be uh, will be safe and uh, thinking of you. So um, with that, I hand back over to you, uh, Alia, and thank you for chairing this excellent meeting. And, and also thank you to the team, Putu and Mariam for preparations and for the great work. Uh, Putu also with your meeting is all very, very excellent. Thank you. Um, thank you very much. Um, so with that, uh, I would like to close it and the recording of the meeting uh, will be sent later this week. Um, so see you next week as usually and have a nice um, week. Thank you all. Thanks, Alia. Bye. 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 Bye.